and you're having fun. I know you shot this show in Vancouver. Yep. Uh, you're you're away from the family now. Right, right. Is that a good thing? Uh, or, <laughs> I mean, listen. Well, I mean, I think that certain men at, at a certain age probably shouldn't be left alone to do anything. They'll Why? burn stuff down. Well, I mean, <laughs> are you capable by yourself? I'm very capable. Right. Oh yes, yes, yeah. I can run a household. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah I've been alone uh, for some time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was working. I was working <laughs> in Albuquerque before um, Vancouver on another show, and I was in charge of getting my uh, living situation there, and. The house was very small. I could, I could um, um, flush the toilet while sitting in bed, open the front door, and do a load of laundry. Oh, wow. From yeah. the bed. <laughs> it's weird. You go from Manhattan yeah. to Albuquerque. Right. You should triple By the, the way, size of your Albuquerque, place. Albuquerque, like Breaking Bad, it was a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have an alarm system in my house that I sometimes use, don't use. This house, an alarm system, broad daylight. Walk in, turn it on, turn it off. It was, yeah, it was really? Cool. I love Albuquerque. Oh, sounds people. like it. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Why, you should be part of the Chamber of Commerce. So, so she she helped me find the place out in Vancouver, and uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's the opposite of how I was living in I see. Okay, yeah. so then the whole family can come out, and yeah, it's all about everybody the, can flush the toilet toilets, from the bed. bad from the bed. It's amazing. <laughs> the people in Canada are so polite. They are, yes. You know what they they're do? They're the nicest, You know what yeah. they do in Vancouver, which I thought was Look, very... Look, they're clapping. Which See? is very interesting, <laughs> is that you'll eat at a restaurant and you'll eat a bite and you'll count one, two, three. Uh, on your third bite, the waiter will come up and says, "How are the first few bites of your meal?" That's what you're supposed to do as a waiter. I'm like the first few. How do you know it's my first few bites? And now, you know, I'm um, codependent, so I want them to feel good. Right. So I'm coming up with new words. <laughs> this is a culinary revelation. And they keep it's coming back and they checking keep on back. you. <laughs> Another thing they do is that if you're at a store or wherever, or even with your trainer working out, they say, "So what else you got planned for the day?" I'm like, you really don't want to know what I've got. I, plus, I have nothing planned for the day. It sounds more like they're spying on you than anything. Which comes back to my wife. I think she's got them, you know. Or it could be the Latino thing the again, Latino you know? Thing, I right. mean, you can never be too careful. So I just started making up stories. Like, today, I go, I'm going to rob a store <laughs> later. I go, shh. Do they laugh? No, they don't no, laugh. No, yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah. Well, it's very good to see you. Thanks, Congratulations man. on the show. It's called Riverdale. It's on CW. It comes out uh, next Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Mark on Swaler. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.